Hi guys, and today I have a project that I decided to do to have remote controller to my uh, things from my house uh, to control them, you know, from the part for, from the different parts of the world. So, for example, uh, with that thing you can uh, turn on your kettle, turn on your micro oven and other stuff from just the, your web browser. So, <clears throat> you, you should have only internet connection for that. And it doesn't matter how to connect from the computer or the smartphone. So, for this project I used some things such as Ethernet Shield. This is W5100 Ethernet Shield. And this is Arduino Uno R3. This is platform. And also we can see here four channels relay. And that is connected to the Ethernet Shield. Also connected to the light diodes as you can see here this is red green blue and uh, white diode and so and also as an shield is connected to the router which is connected to the global network to the, to our provider for that stuff i decided to use tp link simple router and um, also for that project we should have white ip address from our provider to have uh, <coughs> original connection so let's see how it works let's connect our uh, platform to the voltage so it is loading let's wait a few seconds so it is already ready so you can see a relay is loaded and ethernet shield is also working you can see from the lights and let's try to control it. To connect to our Ethernet shield as it is a server, uh, we can uh, write to the web browser uh, like IP, uh, uh, our white IP address. So it is 77, 47, 102, 117 and uh, two dots and our port uh, that should be written in the parameters of that router for changing the parameters uh, and actually setting the router for our purposes i decided to use ddwrt.com so you can see um, we should choose net settings and we should choose port forwarding and in that thing, we should uh, write our IP address of the uh, Ethernet Shield server, and we should write port from and port to. As uh, this is IP address, and port to uh, was mentioned in uh, Arduino sketch, so you can see IP address, and you also can see that uh, that port, IT port. So let's see how it works. So we are going to the side and uh, we have here red, green, blue and red, green, blue checkbox. So let's try. For example, we decided to turn on the light uh, in the red diet. So we are clicking refresh button and let's see ho how it works. Yeah, it is working. So let's try other lights and let's check the last one this is white mm -hmm. the most powerful one you know and it is working so it's good but uh, we should also you know connect from for example from our smartphone or our tablet if we want to uh, from different devices that is not connected to the to our router from the global network so I am I decided to connect our HTML page with Arduino by my smartphone so I am writing the IP address and also port so we are going here and we see that it is also working. The HTML page was loaded and 
So let's see. Let's try to turn on the green light diet. We click and refresh. And it is working. So thank you for your attention. I think it was very interesting for you and in the next video you will see the explanation of the code and explanation of detailed explanation of the settings of tp-link router by ddwrt.com and other stuff thank you for attention bye